All right, what is up, guys? We are back with Claymore, Chapter 116, The Corpse of the Witch, Part 3. Um, I just want to get into it, man, because last chapter we had the three finally showing up to the battlefield. Um, Hysteria, Roxanne, and Cassandra. Um, let's just get into it. I'm, I'm hyped to see these guys. After everything that you guys have been telling me, uh, this should be, this should be uh, worth the wait, for sure. Um, Alright, so the battle against the monsters that didn't emit Yoma energy dragged on. Perhaps it was because we were concentrating on our eyes and ears too much, or was it because they looked so much like us? Either way, we were fatally late in noticing the approach of the others, okay? Um, what the hell is that? What? Like, all this blood over here. And just like, like, I don't know, just like everyone just like stops, right? And just like looking around. Interesting, okay. Oh boy, dude. Look at, look at all their faces, man. Um, what the? Right, so some claymores are getting cut all over the place. Audrey just got cut, Rachel, and Nina, all of them. Uh, who are you? Maria just got cut down too? The wind caressing my face feels so good. It has been so long. Dude, Maria just got cut down. What? I, I like her design so far. Whoever this is. Whoa. Dude, her hair is gorgeous. The one, this one? I don't know who that one is, but man. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I've said this before already. Um, but I, I always like, they, they don't always work like 100% of the time, like the hairstyles. But I do like the variety of the hairstyles that like, that, um, that Yagi is able to like, you know, change them up like frequently. So uh, to make them feel fresh. Um, again, they don't always work, <laughs> like, some of them are pretty weird, uh, but he keeps finding ways to make them feel fresh, so I appreciate that, and this one in particular is freaking me out because of the ears, I just noticed that, I wonder if, I guess I just haven't really noticed, like, do other claymores have ears like that? No, because this one, her ears are normal. That's such a weird thing to, to, to have to, like, remember, right? If other claymores have pointy ears, I, I would have to look back, but I feel like, um, maybe, did Elaine have, have pointed ears? I feel like her ears, right? I, I feel like hers, with the quicksword, right? Uh, Elaine, I, right? Her name is Elaine? Um, I, I don't know why I feel, or no, no, was it Ophelia that had pointy ears? Like... <laughs> I feel like it was one of them two. Tell me in the comments below if one of- I feel like it was one of those two that had pointy ear- like, elf-like ears. I'm probably completely wrong, but I don't know why I, my mind immediately went to those. Anyway, um, so every single Claymore is, like, dead, apparently. Um, and these three barely- didn't even break a sweat. Um, impossible. All of them. They annihilated every last one of them in such a short time. Day, are you... Don't tell me they are too strong. I told you at the start that I'd choose them based on strength. I can understand that the problem with control makes you uneasy, but saying so will do no good. Besides, it is too soon to say that they are all dead. Alright. Okay, we got the twins. What's that? Um... Oh, Maria, Maria's back in the fight? Okay. Oh, my. Shadow Chaser. Okay, we got Audrey and Rachel back. <clears throat> um, dude, she... I want to go back to see who's the pointed ear one. I'm going to go back really quick. Okay, uh... Cassandra, Cassandra's the one with the pointed ears. Roxanne is the one with the really cool curls. And Hysteria is the other one. 
Okay, it's gonna take me a while to remember that, to really get that down, so bear with me, but I think Cassandra will be easy to remember. The point of ears is Cassandra, and Roxanne is the one with the cool, cool hair. Okay, uh, but Cassandra right now is taking on Audrey, Nina, and Rachel all at once. Um, and Roxanne is going after the twins, okay. Um, give me a break. Just me against an awakened being? What bad luck. <laughs> I wonder if, like, she seems, like, maybe not, like, indifferent is the right word, but, like, I really like her attitude. It's almost kind of giving me, like, er, like uh, Shikamaru vibes from Naruto. Like, uh, like really, like, I, I have to deal with this. You know what I mean? Um... Okay, so then we got Maria versus uh, Hysteria, right? Uh, and Maria is tired, dude. She is, like, actually panting from this. Who is she? The organization has someone this strong? Hey, have you heard of Rockwell Hill? Rockwell Hill? I keep thinking, but I can't seem to remember my own name. What? It's like there's a mist in my head. The only thing that's clear is that I must kill you all. Okay, so at least, at least, uh, Day's kind of gamble worked, right? Because his whole deal was that he, he wasn't, like, he himself wasn't sure, like, what these three were going to do. If, you know, they would just fall apart or they would just, you know, I mean, they could have, you know, just turned against the organization and killed them instead. Or, you know what I mean? Like, they could have done whatever they wanted. Um, but no, it's, it's, I mean, Day's gamble actually, uh, uh, paid off. Uh, the fact that, no, they, they have it in their head that they must kill everyone here, um, I think is, it's, a pretty, pretty good, a pretty good sign for day, at least, in the organization. Um, alright. Uh, but earlier when the wind caressed my cheeks, I remembered something. I believe I was killed at Rockwell Hill. Um, you impossible and now that like man dude i feel like this opens up like and i'm sorry i'm talking a lot in this chapter i feel like but i feel like this opens up like like a really cool opportunity to like like who killed these these uh these claymores like who would have been strong enough to kill these guys um i wonder if like maybe that's a, a little like plot thread that we're going to explore in, in the future like maybe each of these claymores trying to retrace their their steps to where they died trying trying to find out who killed them if that person is still alive or something like that i don't know um but that would be pretty cool um anyway huh what is it do you know me please tell me every warrior knows about the massacre of warriors at rockwell hill the number one at the time reached the limits of her of her human heart, but didn't give a black card to anyone. On orders from the organization, a warrior force went to Rockwell Hill to purge her. Uh, but that number one would not submit, and slaughtered the warriors who surrounded her. They barely succeeded in taking her life before she awakened. But Rockwell Hill was littered with the corpses of the warriors who fought her. <laughs> <clears throat> the name of that number one was Hysteria. Of all the past number ones, her fighting technique was the most beautiful and the manner of her death the most ab abominable. Uh, that was Hysteria the Elegant. So we see where she got her, her uh, nickname from. But that number one died. Did the organization resurrect her? What's the matter? If you know my name, then tell me. <clears throat> Um, so, uh-oh, if it's true, then the other two may also be deceased number ones. I hate to be ignored. Dude, I, I don't think I've ever seen Maria like this. Like, like, this terrified. Like, this panel, like, this panel didn't, like, an expertly good job at, like, depicting, like, just the, I, I guess the... I don't know if desperation is the right word, but just like the, the emotions that she's feeling, like the confusion and, and the, um, the fear that Maria is, is feeling right now. Um, yeah, that was, it's crazy, man. 
Is she what? She just passed right through Maria? What? That was it. What? I mean, you, you guys are saying what I'm saying, right? What? Her first strike is like she passes through my body. It truly is elegant. The most beautiful technique of any warrior. However, the principle is much like that of my phantom, right? I wonder I wonder if Maria maybe like like looked to her, to her like studied like her uh hysteria's uh technique or something like that because their techniques obviously aren't you know like a one to one, you know, uh exactly identical, but like there are like a little bit of a sim sim similarity there, right? Um so maybe there's something there. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys this awesome panel of Maria's face. Okay. <clears throat> uh, oh dear. My second attack didn't fatally wound you either. Who are you? The principle is an instantaneous release of Yoma power for a momentary surge of speed. I mainly use it to evade attacks and put distance between myself and my opponent. She comes forward. Okay, so, like, that's really cool. So, Maria, you know, she does it, like she just said, she uses it to get away from attacks, to dodge, right? Um, as opposed to Hysteria, she uses it for, for offense, right? Uh, so, that's really cool. Uh, sh but she comes forward and then steps aside at the closest proximity and moves around behind, causing her after image to appear as if it's passing through her opponent. It's easy to understand conceptually, but what's astounding is the precision involved. Supposing we are equal in speed, the accuracy of her movement is on another level. It is exactly what I could not attain, no matter how I longed for it, and now I am confronted with it. I am jealous of your superior talent. Uh, did I knock a screw loose? You're truly a strange girl. I, I love, uh... I keep, say, I keep saying Maria, but Miria, right? Miria. I have to remember that. Um, this, it's so annoying, though. Um, but man, dude, when even when I thought that M Miria was, like, losing it, or, you, you know, just, like, in the face of this superior opponent, uh, just seeing her, like, acknowledge that she is facing someone on, like, an unprecedented level, uh, seeing her acknowledge that is pretty cool. Um, what is she, what is she doing? Even if I lose in technique, I will not lose this fight. Sorry, but I'm sending you back to the grave. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, dude. This is crazy, dude. You guys, you guys were not exaggerating that these next few chapters were going to be greatness. Um, okay, so we got the fight with Cassandra and Roxanne, or no, 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 it's just Cassandra here, okay, but Cassandra is, is fighting Audrey, Rachel, Nina, she's facing, like, everybody in, in, uh, this shot, or this whole page, um, all right, so, uh, this will work, the three of us together can beat her. But there are two more of them. I don't know what they are, but we need to finish this one off and go help the others. Um, that's weird to actually see um, Cassandra like actually like uh, I don't know if worry is the is the right word, but like her just like looking around. Um, I don't know if she, if she's feeling like like a little bit of pressure, like these two panels. <laughs> she just sees Roxanne over there. <laughs> she's just standing there. <laughs> And Roxanne just waved. <laughs> um, oh, and Cassandra's blushing a little bit. So obviously there's something there, right? That's funny. Uh, that fool, she never changes. Uh, oh, are you up? Shall we continue then? Dude, she cut them down. All we didn't even need to see Roxanne fighting against the twins. Oh my god. Uh, you still don't have your arms on. You can't do anything that way. I'll give them to you, so hurry up and heal. Really? <laughs> she said, I'll give them to you. Um, okay, everywhere I turn, fools. The other two don't even remember their names. <laughs> Boring. 
It was the first time I saw that other one, but you and I did fight together in the same era. They carved you up pretty badly, but I was the one who finished you off, Cassandra. Interesting. Huh. And also, they carved you up pretty badly, so who, right? Um, hmm. And that's the end of the chapter. Interesting. Um... Cool, because, so, like, what I was talking about earlier in the chapter is that I really hope that, um, uh, that Norihiro Sensei kind of, like, takes the advantage of, like, let's explore these characters, right? I mean, so far, like, off of a, you know, just first impression basis, like, I think these three are, are pretty compelling so far. Um, so, like, yeah, let's take advantage and, and, like kind of like delve into their their backstories a little bit like just the little tidbits that we got of them um so we know that roxanne and, and cassandra uh they fought in the same era um rarely enough roxanne knows her name but the other the other two don't um they're possibly might be a little bit weird uh, something weird going on with how in particularly um, Cassandra died. Um, I mean, because I feel like, okay, what if Cassandra, maybe in, in, a, in a similar similar fashion uh, to uh, Hysteria, was killed by, you know, other Claymores, right? Or something like that. And then that would explain why Cassandra, uh, uh, Roxanne was there to f kind of finish off the job, right? Um, so maybe uh, Hysteria and, and Cassandra are kind of like in a similar boat as to how they died, uh, being basically cut up by, by you know, the other Claymores uh, and things like that. Um, so that's interesting. Um, but also the way, the, the way that Roxanne says, you know, that I, I was the one who finished you off. So like, like the way the way that she looks in, in that panel, like I don't know if she like takes like pride in that, um, or something like I don't know. It, also, may, like maybe I was reading, and I'm sorry, this is just like a mess of, of thoughts. So <laughs> it's this is gonna be so disorganized. But um, Cassandra blushing, like maybe like of course my first thought was oh maybe there's something romantic between them or she has a crush on on roxanne but maybe it's cassandra was cognizant or at least conscious and aware that roxanne was the one who finished her off and maybe the blush was because like she she knows that roxanne is stronger than her so maybe the blush came from that maybe um I'm probably wrong there, but I don't know. Just just an idea that I thought of. Um, but yeah, I guess I, I, I'm really liking... I mean, both design-wise and personality, Roxanne is is two for two with me. She's she's killing it, man. She's made a great first impression. I love her, her personality so far. <laughs> um, the fact that she, like basically destroyed the twins like without us even having to see it like that's how bad it was like we didn't even need to see it uh like norihiro was like yeah i'm gonna spare you guys the the details because that's how bad it was <laughs> um but then also the, the fact that like her being bored of it and saying like I i'll let you take your arms if you want right um man that's that's so cool um yeah so, so she, she's pretty cool um I feel like we didn't we didn't get too much of Cassandra this chapter. Um at least with Hysteria we got to know, you know, her power and uh we really kind of got to d dig deep into her and Miria's fight. Um but I feel like with Roxanne and uh Cassandra like we haven't seen their power, which is pretty terrifying that like Roxanne was able to cut down the twins so easily without you know showcasing her power maybe she used it but obviously we didn't see it um so there's that like that's pretty terrifying um but just Cass cassandra in general i feel like is the biggest mystery uh we didn't get too much of her besides the the end little tidbit that she was indeed cut down by 
Roxanne and that those two fought in the same era. Um, so that's, that's really interesting too. Um, but yeah, I guess that's, that's pretty much it for this chapter, man. This was a great, great chapter. Uh, so much information. Um, also Maria, man, like, or Miria, what is she going to do? What is she planning to do right now? It's, it's like, let's, let's calm down right now. But like, I don't, I don't blame her one bit for like trying to like, um, like what is she like <laughs> that line too saying that I'm going to take you back to the grave or whatever, but I don't blame her for like, you know, feeling the the necessity that she has to push herself this far to take out this opponent like this opponent is this strong that it, it it's going to take marie Mi maria uh to go over her limit to defeat her um that just goes to show how powerful the foes that we're fighting right now um but yeah that's pretty much it guys like comment subscribe for more claymore uh let me know what i missed or whatever things you want to expand upon or or whatever uh let me know down below and i'll see you guys in the next chapter peace